I feel like the Selena is just like she doesn't care. The last time she appeared, she won already. I think that's Coda. Yeah. That's all that sparks is chill. Yes, for Kilowash, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And that that is a pretty good call for SGD because you, uh, the thing is, you are on an upward battle, and you don't want uh, any key player of Sun Sparks to you know really pin you down, uh, especially in times like these. Okay, sure, both are in a position wherein they be they'll be in the upper brackets, but like what we said, this is a, a matter of position. This is a matter of you know really asserting your dominance. Your and SGD really showing that off with that first pick as the Uranus. Yeah. The Toshino favorite, you know right there. Yeah. You know what really makes my heart melt is you guys are on the p on the point with the picks and bans right oh. now. Uh, everything you guys predicted, <laughs> I think, is right here. We're very close to a completely uh, uh, a complete pound for pound pick and ban uh, guess from you guys. So kudos to say and Swarly for that one. Uh, <laughs> That's why we're here, No, fam. Esmeralda, though, something we didn't mm -hmm. notice. Esmeralda is something that flew oh, under yeah. our radar. Highly mm. used here by Sunsparks. Yeah, um, I think this would be on the hands of either Kiel, VJ, or Rafflesha. Really depends, but um, going back right here, um, Sun uh, SGD Omega, I think, might be opting for another uh, Vortex support right here and oh, a ling, ling a ding dong. Pretty interesting. Your team, oh. Angeline, I, I like, still. I like. Mm -hmm. Angela's still available as well, and SGD will definitely run it if Sunsparks don't ban it out or take it for themselves. But I doubt Sunsparks will take it. You know what? I think uh. so. I think so. This is. There is. There's so much room for Sun Sparks to deal with it. How confident are Sun Sparks against playing against that? Can they take him out? They do have the Esmeralda. You have to take note of that. The shields, will that really mean that much with the Esmeralda in play? Will they oh, ban yeah. it out? Is it even worth true, it? True. Esmeralda absorbs shields like a boss. It yeah. is gonna do so well against Uranus, do so well against Haze, even to a certain extent against the Atlas. So. Do you ban it out or do you just like give it up and give the Esmeralda everything? Oh, they're still respecting. They're still respecting it. The respect. Okay. Answered right I away. Think, I think Kaja should be in contention here for SGD. It's a deny pick as well for them. If they ban it, if they don't pick it, they ban it because it's gonna be a good fit for the Sunsparks lineup. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Because uh it kind of complements with the carry pick right here, if ever so that uh, Sun Sparks will be getting the hands of the Kaja. So, oh, it looks like they will be respecting the Kufra instead. So, it means uh, in terms of confidence, they are a bit more confident when facing a Kaja rather than a Kufra because Ooh, I, I get the logic behind denying this uh, Kufra pick or respect banning this Kufra because it's really dangerous, especially when paired up with an Esmeralda. You know, you just Falling Star Moon uh, plus Siren's Revenge, and then you're good to go. Carry here for the complete oh, cleanup. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's a good yeah. uh, call for SGD Omega. Yeah, you do not disrespect the championship Kufra. That is rule number one fighting against Sun Sparks. Of course, Natalia, I'm, I'm a bit 50 50 on it if Greed will pick it up. Um, yeah. I'm still 50 50 because it does. Uh, there's so many uh, tanky targets here for SGD and someone who might not even get hit by Natalia altogether, which is the Ling. I would second guess that Ooh. all throughout, but it is still Ooh. possible. Don't forget, I feel like that's still a good option here, considering the amount of map control Whoa. Natalia gives Whoa. for you. Oh. Here comes a new challenger. Right there for Man. the MPL. Borea, Natalia, a, a looks like SGD would wow. want to yeah. use the five one five party of so heroes. Was... No, nice. no. Oh, <laughs> oh. Rock. Ooh. Okay, so I think we celebrated a little bit too much, but that's fine. I think it's cause for celebration every time a new hero gets picked up here for yeah. the MPL. But again, uh -huh. seeing this very uh, 
again, good call on not picking up the Natalia there. Excellent call there. Um, Freya here, though. I would want to give get your thoughts, but predictions alongside your thoughts about the Freya. Come on, give it up. Man, uh, this is what I've been uh, telling you guys both. Uh, <laughs> both of them are really fundamentals. The boys. Raptor, real quickly, do, do you know anything about this Freya revamped hero? And how do you feel like it? Because for me personally, I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm kind of okay with it too. Uh, we have seen the pro teams use the Freya to success other tournaments outside of the MPL. However, in this specific matchup, it's a big toss-up for me. Yeah really foresee it's either a big 50 50 and that's because they're gonna be up against an esmeralda a lot of freya skills so specifically two i believe it's spirit ward the second skill and valkyrie descent the ultimate generate First shields blood. that esmeralda can just eat up and oh, speaking of our girl not a good start there for our freya so sgd omega really have to watch out for kel vj's esmeralda because that is other than the carry of course if the Esmeralda can pop off, then Toshi's gonna have a really hard time on that Freya. And already, they get a kill there, a death there on their Freya. Man, this is like... That move, I would say... I'll call probably the Hansel and Gretel move, maneuver from Sun Sparks. I don't know if uh -huh. I... If, if my... My fable knowledge is right. But what they did was Reflesh just leaving the, the, the crumbs. And Freya actually, Toshi stepped into the trap. It was laid down by Raflesha and Kiluwash was there with the high and dry. Even the, the best um, emblem to have in that situation. Now they want to go for Toshi. And again, man, this uh, th th this uh, movements from Sunsparks, I mean, it's just so good. Yeah, and they're really keeping that Freya here. And uh, just recalling... The previous tournaments I watched, yeah, it was also SD that would run um, Freya, if I'm not mistaken. So, at least they understand that, yeah, okay, we have the Esmeralda who can theoretically counter up that Freya. We still can't allow that Freya any breathing room. So, they're just applying pressure, pressure with the Speaking of VJ getting pressured here right now by SGD, and that's going to be a good trade here. But not really, because that's part uh they were oh wait, no, no, they were able to yeah some sparks at least though yeah. were able to get the turret in the bottom lane so right now yeah you pointed it out it's the movements of Sunspark and not again toshi my goodness oh really not giving this freya and the rest of sgd any breathing room refresh refresh uh, able to see out haze there forcing it out and the, the movement right Turtle now some sparks has just soon. been unstoppable with how they're covering the map the resources the lanes, everything, SGD Omega just trying to find the breathing room they need. Man, I, just, what I, I will talk about this in a bit. Because I think that there, this clash is already done, alright? So I want to just say that Sun Spark, that was a masterful move, okay? Went down to get a kill out of the bottom. It didn't matter if they... It wouldn't matter, I mean, if they get the kill or not. They got it even. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, they were able to snatch the red buff. Raflesha moving... Uh, I mean, having the movements on the, the first uh, levels. I mean, if you recall, Raflesha was able to scout out someone that's taking the red buff for SGD Omega. And because of that, they know exactly when this red buff will spawn once again. And they were able to pressure SGD Omega, even Raflesha committing his ultimate, his, his uh, wild charge, not to get kills, but to actually stop SGD Omega from moving to that point. And I think that's mm. very important. Now, Reflection with the Grok Block into the wall charge and they get the kill on the Atlas. They want to go for more. JP is hurting the members of SGD Omega at this point. I mean, 2-0-1 on JP's carry. It's just four minutes in, but SGD Omega is still in a world of hurt. And it's crazy how Reflection is using the Grok right now. We just saw that. He immediately chased out Hayes once that Feathered Airstrike was done or when it was about to finish her flesher showed up charging up that power of nature and then Hayes was just like nope I'm out of here out, no, 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 no. I'm out so that's the stuff that you want to see from your tanks being able to box out carries or well, the supports here 
on the side of SGD and still we're staying there get, not giving them any breathing room with how they're rotating and how aggressive they're playing against this lineup that SGD Omega brought to the table that allows uh, your team to buy time from uh, hopefully by the time that SGD Omega is ready to engage because their Farsa has been leveled up, then you're well ahead in terms of the resources. And looks like that that's probably where we're headed in this game. With Sun the Sparks, just the pressure. Yeah, Feather Esks, but still Haze here hasn't had enough room to breathe. So does Toshi. And even the uh just really trying to far, but it's still a really big catch up game because of just how well Sun Sparks has been applying the pressure throughout the map. And you can see, you know what, it, it, they're applying pressure in the map. Like it's the most pressure when it's the red buff, but before that, hey, it's gonna be pummeled by, by Sun Sparks as they want to go and steal this blue buff. There's gonna be the Kaja punished by SGD Omega, but another kill happening in here as they take out Haze. So that's a one for one, but JP says, okay, we don't actually look for kills. We are looking for this buff, this serpent buff. We want to take it for ourselves. Kilo is jumping, just some shielding in there to not be damaged by the buff. And again, Sun Sparks, these people, they're goal oriented, man. They're, they're like the leaders of a corporation. They don't care about kills. The, the, what they have in mind is to get the buffs. They are getting red and blues all together in SGD Omega. They're, they're famined in terms of the red buffs. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, you don't want to be a link without a buff. Links without buffs, they're, they're like minions who can jump through walls. Mm -hmm. And just the absolute respect of the lineup they're up against. They knew they had to be aggressive. They knew they had to starve them, starve them of the resources of the boss, and that's just what they've been doing. We are just about to hit the seven minute mark in the in this match, and Sun Sparks haven't given up or just yet. SGD still cannot at all find the momentum they need to find because of the pressure that they've been feeling all around the map. And what's scary is even at this point, JP, the carry for Sun Sparks is already level 11, 2 0 and 1 or he gets tossed back. He's in a bad spot here. If they can get a kill, that oh, might be really good. SGD what? Omega using the feather airstrike for the zona. JP still gets the kill. Able to take out the Freya. And now Sun Sparks are turning this fight around. Kel VJ, JP, and Greed forcing SGD Omega bad back. And this bad. That's a really good pickup. But still, Roflesio was able to. Oh, Roflesio was taken out there. But man, Toshi. Uh, still not being able to find any room that he needs. SGD Omega, yeah, they're at this Turtle point where the can do soon. is really just turtle. And hopefully the link can find oh, no, of the base. Although, however, that's going to be oh, another good goodness. kill there by Sun Sparks. They take out Kenji this time with the Divine Judgment coming in from Greed's. Yeah. I am lost for words. Sun Sparks, these are beasts. They, they came out mm -hmm. to play, Reptar. No. They're ballers now. And now another again, 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 again. The buffs being stolen. No buffs for you, SGD Omega. Sun Sparks, this is their map. They, they this wonder this is just wonderful to see. I mean Rafflesia able to survive that even after being tossed. This is because of the sprint. This is uh, usually you want to go for flicker or like something like uh, purify or very de other defensive um spells. But Rafflesia shows us. Uh, a little bit of a throwback with a sprint on Grok and was able to run away from the members of SGD Omega, tacking through it all. But also, this is the, the fact that Rafflesia and the rest of the gang survived that dive was because of the fact that SGD Omega, they're so underfarmed. I mean, yep. if you give them a little bit of farm and that happens, they would have that outcome would be totally different. As had GZ, masterful mm -hmm. move actually to get away to safety. Guardian's Barrier, okay, Rafflesia, just to stop the recall. It's a little bit annoying. <laughs> and again, buffs Another don't steal. belong to SGD Omega anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and the SGD Omega team that went 2-0 against Bren, like last week. Yeah. This is a big statement here by Sunsparks, but uh, I, I gotta agree with Swarly that this might be the first game, only three game series for throughout the day because it's SGD Omega. They are without sugarcoating it, despite their placement of the table, one of the favorites 
to possibly make it to the finals, yeah. maybe even win the championship at the end of the season. But we're seeing Sun Sparks is just proving their case that, hey, we could probably go back to back. You know the intro that said we've never seen a two time yeah. champ? That might be Sun Sparks. And this is a hell of a statement they're showing. Whoa, if I'm SJD Omega, I'm going to either consider batting out the Grok in the order. Keeping yeah. it up for grabs because the Grok being placed here for Sun Sparks really empowered their strategy of roaming and going around this because that's what Grok can provide for your team. That is since early in Look the at game this. with some really fairly overly decent damage from that power of nature. And at this point, Reflesh is going three on one and he doesn't mind. Yeah. It's fine for him. <laughs> this is like the prime Grok usage. By the way, in that middle part of the map, you can see. He's near a turret that's already da taken down, right? It also it's, it still counts as a turret, but what a nice really? lineup for Rafflesia! Within the ultimate, but there is the Atlas with a Fatal Mix! This Ooh. could be deadly! They take a one! But can they get more? They will be able to take out Rafflesia in his first life, but he will res respawn back as Kel VJ annihilates members of SGD Omega. Two for one trade off and another divine judgment. Uranus, not even tacky at all. Kill VJ with that dives. Falling Star Moon. And JC can even retreat to his own fountain because he will be taken up by Kill VJ for sure. This is yes. Sun Sparks game, and they will take mm -hmm. it. Wow. Oh the percussionist tambourine player of the 515 band, Esmeralda, just playing a <laughs> tune right at GD Omega, cannot catch up with Kel VJ without to worry about that and now because of this considerable lead yes as you know Mega really worried Sun Sparks might be able to finish this mega kill there for the carry already Sun Sparks monster kill there Freya gets taken out as you know Mega might be taken out next but they got that Esmeralda but it's little too little too late Sun Sparks dominating